Hi, this is Steve from GSX, and welcome to our video series about GSX Monitor and GSX Analyzer. There will be a whole bunch of videos issued in the next few weeks. Some will be very detailed, some will be more general, some will be about different platforms. So I suggest that you uh, subscribe to our RSS feed off of our blog so you can keep an eye on new ones when they come out. And without further ado, let's get into the content. Thanks. Okay, so this is monitoring for BlackBerry Enterprise Server Part 2. Those of you that haven't seen Part 1, I would poke around a little bit till you see that. And uh, for the rest of us, of course, you'll remember what our dashboard looks like, which is giving us a real-time status of all our servers. And we're going to go into the Server Settings tab, all right, and the BlackBerry Scanning Settings, and that's what all these columns are for here, to help me establish how often I want to check on each and every one of my BlackBerry servers. Okay, so here we have six, uh, I think it is six BlackBerry servers, depending on how many you have. Obviously, you could have uh, two or 20 or whatever it happens to be. And um, we, this is basically how we identify our servers. And then a few of these columns, let me explain what they do. Cluster would mean if I have a BES5 high availability cluster and I want to say that two of these servers are linked together, I could establish a cluster name and then some of the other settings will work in concert together. We, we don't have that in our situation, so we'll, we'll try to talk about both uh, uh, scenarios as we move forward. So let's talk about the basic settings. And here we have the scanning frequency column, and this is a value that is set to be the number of minutes between scans. So what this means is every five minutes or every four minutes or every three minutes or whatever we set this value to, or of course I can change it to be whatever I wish, Okay, is how often GSX Monitor tries to connect to that BES server. Again, there's no code on servers, so it's actually using Windows SNMP to connect to that server to confirm that it is indeed working. Only two things can happen. It, can, it works or it does not work. If it does work, we come back in two minutes or eight minutes or four minutes or five or whatever the value in this column is and do it all over again forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And I keep doing that. So GSX Monitor is going to continue to have eyes and ears on your best servers to make sure that they are indeed working. Okay, now if it doesn't work, what happens? Well, I have two choices. One is I can retry, and this value is telling us how often do I retry. So in other words, instead of waiting five minutes for my normal scan cycle, if something seems to be wrong, I'm not going to wait five minutes. I'm going to start scanning every one minute or some lesser value. Now, if I check it after one minute and everything's fine, I go back to my normal interval and you've never been alerted in this situation. Now, that's actually not quite accurate. The alert is governed by this next column. So the alert threshold during business hours, which we define here, and then of course there's a similar one for off hours if we've established any business hours, means how long do I wait to send an alert uh, basically giving me time to do the retry. So let me give you an example. Here's a good one. I scan every eight minutes. If it doesn't work, I start scanning every one minute. I have an alert waiting threshold of one minute during business hours, which means I'm going to do my original try and then one additional try before I send that message to that alerting message that whatever we've done to alert the appropriate team that something's wrong with this server, I'm going to get in two scans. So you're allowed to kind of increase or decrease your sensitivity as is appropriate to the priority of a particular server or service or perhaps by the way it works. If this server has acted goofy before and, and you've gotten a nuisance alert, you might want to be uh, putting in a, a retry interval so that when it does finally come out, you know it's been tried once or twice or three times before you've been alerted. And of course, we can have a totally different alert um, waiting period during off hours. So if you want to be less sensitive in the middle of the night, you can, and that essentially is going to allow GSX Monitor to have multiple retries, again, depending on the way these mathematics of these columns work together. That's what we're doing, is having less or more sensitivity. Now we have this thing here called trigger, trigger this alert if Bez is down, and we have a reciprocal alert trigger this alert if Bez is up, if the SRP connection is down, if the SRP connection is up. So we have uh, this super important, well, that's just sort of truncated. What it is is super important VIP Big Shot Bez team. And it's not an alert, it's actually an alert profile. Okay, so what an alert profile is, is it's the same alert that we've applied to many, many places. And if I make a change to the alert here in the profile, everywhere where the super important VIP Big Shot profile is applied will be modified. 
or the default. I have I can have multiple, I can have hundreds of alert profiles depending on what I want to set up here. So what, what happens in our alert profile? I ha here's all my choices and I can move over my sort of menu selections over onto my plate here. So in this example I'm sending an email alert to a particular address or multiple addresses or distribution lists. Here we'll add another distribution list. And I'm also sending SMS pages to various devices and I can add uh, you know the help desk device into that if I wish and that's all I'm doing in this example but I also could launch another program I could play a sound on the monitoring workstation I could send a Windows pop-up message to different people's workstations or I can send an SNMP trap to uh, Service Center or Tivoli or Nagios or HP OpenView or BMC Patrol or any other infrastructure console that you might have and then I have another one here that's grayed down because I don't have it configured is it's sort of the ultimate fail safe if you have a GSM modem you'd be able to send out even if that server room is completely cut off where GSX monitor is you could send an alert out through GSM modem now I would suggest you actually might have multiple and redundant and overlapping alerting methodologies okay a couple other things that we can do here is establish a schedule so if I wanted to say that on a certain day at a certain time the different people get alerted or someone goes on call at a certain time signature you can absolutely have GSX do that and it'll deliver the alert to the appropriate person in the appropriate time even to the point of following the sun if you have teams around the world uh, I have a severity code where I can use uh, and flag different types of alerts with severity codes uh, for for later reporting I can enable reminders on certain profiles and certain ones not like I have a, a one here that we have a best team with reminder and best team without reminder so depending on the kind of thing we want if we want to be told it's down it's down it's down over and over and over again we can enable that reminder and then we have another thing called escalation so what escalation does is it allows me to have another level of alerts that give me all the exact same choices that I had so in this example let's pretend we're notifying Steve Beister in the junior your admin when this failure of whatever type occurs and if he or she can't fix it in a certain time period you know 22 minutes or five minutes or whatever it happens to be then we're gonna do something else we're gonna alert maybe uh, Jane the senior admin or we're gonna alert our manager who uh, owns the uh, service and uh, she's gonna start getting calls from the end users any minute now so it'd be nice if she was aware of it and prepared but we don't want to bother her every time there's an outage we're gonna wait whatever that escalation period is now there's a lot more to talk about I invite you to come and join us for episode three which will be coming up uh, early next week and and uh, I'd suggest maybe you want to sign up for our RSS feeds. And thanks so much for joining us. Well, thanks for the time. Don't forget to keep an eye on our blog for the uh, newest videos that will be coming out in the next few weeks. Subscribe to our RSS feed. It will make it a lot easier. And bye-bye. Thanks.